Hello. Now we are going to proceed with what does a program do? A program is nothing but a way of talking to a computer, giving instructions to the computer so that I can work on the instructions and then the program can do the rest of the work. Just for example, adding two numbers. If I want the computer to do the addition for me, I have to tell it through a program. And the program should be such that my instructions are clear, my values are given and then the rest is left on it. So how to give the instructions? The basic instructions use print statement through system.out.print. This ln stands for giving a new line after the printing. There is something called variable declaration. There is something called value assigning. Now what is the meaning of value assigning? Value assignment means the value in a variable has to be supplied. What is a variable? As you know, a variable is something that represents a value. What is a value? Value is something which actually works. Now, sometimes values are directly available. Sometimes values are indirectly available. Like for example, C is supposed to add A and B. So, C cannot be directly given the result. C has to be given the formula. The formula is just A plus B. Now, look at the program's output and check. Is the output same as what I expect it to be? Let me check the output. I right click on the program. I create an object. See this is called object creation. After creating the object, I right click on the object and I click on the method name. The rest of the things we will learn slurry. Now when I click on the method name, I see some output coming. Now this output is coming when my program is executed. In the program execution, see, these statements are not coming to the output. But the first output is the part which is inside the output statement. Variable A whose value is 64, variable B whose value is 25 and variable C which is storing the sum. Do you think uh, the result can change if I modify this number with something else? And this number also with something else. What do you think the result will be this time? Let me compile and run it. When I will run, I hope you will be able to understand how the code is giving a different result. C. C automatically, variable C automatically got the new value because I changed A and B. Now, this kind uh, of program can also be written where I can supply the value in the variables from mm, a different place. That different place is called the argument assignment area which is here. This is the place where I can also initialize the variables I am going to use. Initialization means I will have to supply the variables that I am going to use. Now you see, I am not declaring A and B inside, but I am declaring them in the argument list. First, let us check the output, then I will explain how did the output come. Okay, I click here and I click here and I click here and I click here. Okay, now you see. The program is unable to proceed because I have to supply the values of A and B here. I can supply any value in A. I can supply a very big number in A. I can supply any small number in A or anything. Don't put a very big number. Okay, so that you can check what you are getting. I press enter. Just see. The variables are now showing the values which I gave just now. Did you understand? Okay.